Do please come in. All right, my Jeff Plum, nice to meet you. How you doing? All right. Sorry, my hands a bit wet still. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Plum. Uh, not to worry, not to worry. Very nice to meet your acquaintance. Uh, I am William Redding, the executor of your great aunt Catherine's will. Uh, if you recall, we spoke on the phone briefly. Oh, yep, I remember you. Got a good memory, me. Never forget a fight. Quite. Uh, do please take a seat, Mr. Plum. Can I uh, get you anything to drink while we wait for the others to arrive? No, thank you, Willie. I popped in your local boozer on the way over. Had a couple of sharpeners already. Feeling pretty lovely, so I won't have another one just yet, thanks. But uh, you go ahead if you want to start early. I see. Uh, well, I shouldn't think we'll be waiting too long. I did say that we'd look to get proceedings underway by around 9.30. <laughs> uh, well, I do know for sure that my cousin Mark ain't coming. Oh, really? Oh, why is that? He's dead. Good gracious. Yeah, yeah, terrible stuff, terrible stuff. Willie he went last Thursday. All happened very sudden. He fell ill? Sort of, yeah, yeah. I mean, his house blew up while he was inside and blew him up with it. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, very sad, very sad. Apparently the neighbours are still scooping bits and pieces of him out of their guttering. Can you believe it? Good Lord, uh, do they know what on earth caused it? Oh, it was a gas explosion. I knew straight away, see, because I got a bit of expertise in that area. Right. Uh, and what is it that you do, Mr. Plum? I'm a guest technician, Willie. Lots of people think I'm a plumber, though, because, well, I suppose the uniforms are pretty similar and all. And my names kind of makes you think of it and all, you know, plum, plumber. Plus, I suppose they're pretty much the same things, really. It's all pipes and leaks and valves and whatnot. But always tell them I say, no, no, I'm not a plumber. I'm not a plumber and I'm a guest technician. Well, I suppose that would make you something of an authority on the matter. Yeah, yeah. That and I was the one who fitted his system and all. Knew those pops like I knew the back of my hand, Willie. Very well indeed. I could navigate them in the dark. And have the police been in touch with yourself regarding the, the tra tragedy, Mr Plum? No, they haven't. No. No, not heard from them. Right. Oh, hang on. Hang on, Willie. I tell a lie. Yes? It was last Tuesday, not last Thursday, will he? <laughs> Blimey, my memory's useless nowadays. No, no. I tell you where I'm getting confused, though. Thursday was when his wife and kids snuffed it, that's it. Oh, no. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah, very sad business. Very sad indeed, will he? Can you believe the brakes failed on their motor and they crashed into a lorry? Oh, good Lord. Ever guess what he was carrying, will he? Frozen mackerel of all the things. Go oh, the smell in the street. Oh, it was horrible. Such a tragic waste. I oh, know. I love a bit of mackerel, me. I'm not quite sure what to say. I'm rather lost for words. My brother Paul was an awe. That didn't last long, cause then he started making very bad jokes about the old thing being a bit fishy, Willie. Really. Can you believe it? I didn't like that one bit. I said I told him. I told him it was in very bad taste, Paulie. Very bad taste. Should have a bit more respect for the dead. Well, you have my deepest sympathies, Mr. Plum. Thank you very much, Willie. I'll use them wisely. Would you like to take a moment to gather yourself? Or? Nah, life goes on, eh? Uh, quite. Uh, well, uh, we're still waiting on your brother's arrival, so as soon as he gets here, we'll... Oh. Oh, no. More bad news, I'm afraid, Willie. You can't be serious. Yeah, that one happened a little while ago. When? Oh, this morning. Yeah, on the way here he got into a bit of a fight with another bloke in a pub. Both of them had had a couple of drinks mine, punches started throwing, kicks swinging, bottles cracking overheads, and I'm sure you're familiar with it all. And then eventually the other bloke held Paul's head under the water in one of the toilets and drowned him dead, will he? So then, what's on Cathy left for me? Thank you.